Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. On today's video, I'm going to give you a classroom tour. Um, I think I did this last year and I got a couple of viewers to watch my classroom from last year. So I decided this year I'm gonna do it again. I switched classrooms, so I'm, a whole, I'm in a whole different room and I switched my theme so it looks a lot different now. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you what that looks like. I know we're in the middle of COVID and my school particularly does not have the kids in the building, but we did you know decorate our classrooms in case you know at any given time they do come back my classroom is ready and I don't have to stress about it so if you're interested in what my classroom looks please keep okay watching. guys so right when you enter my door this is the door this is our like emergency situation kit so if anything happens I have a little trauma kit this is our fire emergency situations then right here I have my classroom rules so I have my school rules which every teacher has this in our school basically everything that they have to respect in our actual building and then I have my classroom rules these are actually the same from last year I thought it still went pretty well with my theme so I kept it and then this little buddy is new this year I do have hall passes I haven't written anything here or on the passes yet but eventually um, they will say like bathroom or water or office or something along those lines I actually got this at Michael's so definitely came in handy so if you haven't noticed my theme this year is like galaxy slash rainbow um, I saw these borders and I was like, okay, this is my theme. This is what it is. I really wanted to use the border. So I was like, maybe I can do like a space theme or something along those lines. So this was the result. I got my bulletin board from, I think Michael's, honestly. The borders are from Michael's as well. I love how this came out. It's so cute. I'm not sure where I got the work hard little banner on the top i want to say michael's too but i'm not sure and then i actually cricketed the letters shoot for the stars i became a little cricketer again this year you know i was on my cricket game last year too then on this side we have my word wall um i cricketed the letters as well i have the same poster from last year just like synonyms to common words that they use all the time um definitely helpful for my students who like to go to use good bad you know it gives them different words this is where my words for each chapter will be i think for now since my kids are not in the building i'm gonna put like a positive or motivational quote or something just to you know give some vibes over here and then this eventually is gonna say no names so if the kid comes back or the kids come back um if their paper is missing a name i will post it up here so that they know I'm not going to grade it. Um, and then again, I uh, my friend actually painted these in a rainbow color so that it matches my rainbow theme. And this is my board. It has absolutely nothing right now because the kids are not in school. So everything's kind of on the computer. But my tape, I don't know if you can tell through the video, has like glitter, you know, galaxy themes here, you know. <laughs> Then I have my same posters from last year, just a couple of reading posters, tying it into my subject area. I do teach English, so every now and then the students will look up here and kind of refer back to them. Then I have this cabinet. This is my file cabinet, so if the students ever come back, their folders will be in here with their work. These are like extra files that I have, so random like papers or any flyers that I have to hand out, I will probably put there. I have a nice little view of the houses this year. New classroom setup. Then this is my little table. I had this last year as well, so I brought it this way. Um, I actually have my new teacher of the year award, a couple pictures. This is my internship teacher from my last year at UCF. We graduated together. She was getting her master's and I was getting my bachelor's. I still have Kathy up here, super cute. I have a humidifier and just some supplies that I use as a teacher. Then I have this area. Oh, I love this. I don't know. I'm totally hyping myself up, but I have my bachelor's from UCF. And then I have my master's finally from University of West Florida. So I put that up there for the students to get to, to get to see, you know, some motivation for them to get some diplomas. And then I have my pictures. I still have to, my students are gonna kill me. I only have my first year students. Um, I definitely need to update these pictures and then my family and friends, I need to update that as well. These pictures are so old, but I literally have not finished like changing them from since I started. So I need to switch that up. Then I have this little desk right behind my desk. 
just teacher supplies, the phone, the laminator printer, a little area, have my fridge. And then this is another section in my classroom. This is like the same idea that I had last year. If the kids ever come back and they're absent, um, the work will be by day. And then here on this table, I will end up putting like a calendar, just writing everything that went down that day so they know what they missed. This is just a little cute quote. I think I had this last year as well. More posters to go on with my rainbow theme. Never stop dreaming. And I believe that this... I'm not very sure what I want to do with this yet. I was actually going to give it away. But somebody donated it to me like my first year teaching. So I don't want to give it away. I have such an attachment to things. But it's so big because I don't have six classes anymore. I only have three. So, you know, I don't need all these bins. It's very complicated at this moment. I have another rainbow poster. Shine bright every day. Here's my smart board. Then I have my little The Lit Teach that my friend did, which is so cute. I have to have that somewhere. Um, my extra computer for the smart board. And then this bookshelf is pretty much empty. Um, I'm not sure if I want to fill it up with books yet because I do have another bookshelf that I'll show you. So I kind of want to buy like teacher decorations and decorate the whole bookshelf. We'll see. But again, I definitely have my Don't Quit Your Daydream tapestry because that's my model. If you have me before, you know for sure that's my motto. I added a new little Harry Potter sign. Wizards are always welcome here. And this is kind of where I want my students to turn in things because it's perfect. It only has three trays and I only have three classes. So it works out perfect. You know, I actually still have to put pictures here. Totally screwing it up here. This is just my cabinets with all my teacher supplies. It's actually pretty organized, but I'm not going to go ahead and open that because I'm pretty sure you saw it last year. Not much has changed. And then this is the back wall of my classroom. We have our stellar work here. Okay, super cute. Um, eventually, my students' names will be on these posters. And then as we take tests and they master it, they will get a sticker for each standard that they master. Then these are just bins that I've always had. I kind of place important worksheets here. These are my crayons, glue sticks, colors, anything along those lines. I have some more posters here. And then this is the bookshelf that I was talking about. I have the same poster from last year on how to choose the right book. Um, we have our hand sanitizer station with some masks in case the kids come back and then i have my bookshelf um filled with books so it's not that big of a bookshelf that's why i kind of want to use the other one for some books too just to fill it up a little bit more but we'll see and then just more books for me on this wall. So the layout of my classroom kind of looks like this right now. Um, I'm not sure if I will keep it like this. It's just a little complicated because if the students do come back, they could only sit like not next to each other. So I have to skip like a table or something. And my classroom is not that big. So it's kind of hard to rearrange the seats. But for now, it'll stay like this since there's nobody really coming in and out. But yeah, guys, that is my classroom tour. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe down below. And I'll see you next time. Bye.